So let's talk about using the file function to turn a text file into an array in PHP. So if you have a text file, you've been storing data into a text file, you're going to need to try to pull that data out in order to do something useful with it. And that's something that the file function can help you with. So essentially all the file function does is it turns every line of a text file into a value in an array. So basically line zero, and the value is whatever is in line zero. Line one, whatever is in line one, line two, whatever in line two, so on and so forth. So this is a good way uh, to pull out uh, values within a text file, especially if you're doing something like a list of names. So a list of names or a list of inventory items or something like that, you can have the file function scroll through and what it will do is it will take every line in that file, turn it into a value in an array, and then once it's an array, you can then uh, do conditionals off of that array or work with that array just like a normal array as I've showed you before. So with that, let's go over to the computer to show you how this, this works because this gets to be a little neat on how you can actually start interacting with files that have already been created. So here we have a simple script that I created called for each file.php. The reason for that is we're going to be using for each to step through the array once we've created the array with the file function. As always, we open with the PHP tag, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the variable dollar sign file. And we're going to make it equal to the results of the file function. So file function is going to create an array out of the file. So we say file open parentheses, single quotation mark, and then we're going to give the name of the file that we're going to be reading from. So the file that I've already created is called names.txt, and it's all already residing in the same directory as this script is, so I don't have to add anything else. And then we're going to close the single quotation mark, close parentheses, and then of course do the semicolon. So this is all you have to do to turn a file into an array in PHP. So what's going to happen is the file function is going to go through for every line in the array it is going to set the key for the value at what the line number is. So the first line in the array the key will be zero and whatever is on that line the value will be whatever that value is. The next line the key will be one value. The next line key will be Two value, the next line key will be three, so on and so forth. And so what you can then do is we can use that for each function that we've dealt with with arrays before, open the parentheses. Now we're going to feed it the variable that we've created with this array. So we're going to feed it dollar sign file and then as, and what we're going to do is we're going to take out the key. So we're going to take out the key value and we're going to say dollar sign line underscore num. So as it steps through that file, it will have created a key zero, one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. We're going to do equal greater than sign and what the value for that key is. So this is the key number and this is the value for that key. Then we're gonna close the parentheses, then we're gonna open the squiggly brackets. Now here, just to be simple, all I'm gonna do is a print. So this is print, double quotation marks. And so essentially what we're doing here is we're gonna print out the line number. So we're gonna say whatever line number it is. So it'll start with zero, then it'll go to one, then it'll go to two, go to three, go to four, go to five, go to six, so on and so forth. Then just a print, then there's just a colon, and then we're going to print out the value of that line. Uh, then we're going to do a break to go break to the next line, and then this will just continually loop until you get to the end of the file, basically the end of the array. Then what we're going to do, just to show you, since we have turned this file into an array, we're going to create a break. So we're going to break between this, give us a little space, and then what I want to do is I want to sort the file. So again, this is an array. We can use for each against the array, and we all can also do sorting against the array. So what I'm going to do is I want to sort the file alphabetically. So we just open parentheses. Again, we feed it the file variable again, close parentheses, semicolon. So this is now sorted the file alphabetically. And then what we're going to do here is it's the exact same script we had above for the for each, but now it's going to print out alphabetically. Now, if we go here and we take a look at the names file, so this is the names file. And if we open this up, oops,
we can see the names that are in this file. So imagine these names have been put in the file from a form or for something else. Maybe you just typed out these names. Again, one thing that's really nice with PHP is do realize you, you don't have to create full applications to do something. You could simply type names into a text file and then feed that text file to the PHP script, which is essentially all I did here. And so what I did is I put the name Bob on one line, Sue on one line, Marge on one line, Tim on one line, Jim on one line, and Bob on another line. And can, I could just keep going through here and continually add names. What we can do is we come to the web browser, we type in Silicon Dojo, then we do for each file. And then now this is what we're able to do. So this, the script was able to read from the names.txt file. It takes the names that are in that file. It goes through each line and then gives a value for the line. It takes the name and then it's able to print that information out. So we can see on line zero, we have Bob. On line one, we have Sue, Marge, Tim, Jim, and yet another Bob. And we can see the different lines here. So again, you could have this like a sign up form or something else. Now with this, having these in non-alphabetical order isn't that useful. So one of the things that we can do is we can sort these into alphabetical order since it's an array using that sort function. So now at zero, we have Bob. At one, we have Bob. At two, we have Jim. At three, Marge. Four, Sue. Five, Tim. So on and so forth. And so since we're able to turn the file into an array, we're then able to sort it, reverse sort it, do that type of thing. So that's really all there is uh, to be able to turn turn a file into an array, and then that gives you a basic idea how you can start dealing with the array once you've done that. So that's a basic overview of the file function for how to turn a file into an array, and it kind of gives you the idea of the different types of things you can do once you've done this. Again, things like inventory items, things like names of, of people and attending an event, different things like that. You're able to put that that information into a text file and then you're able to read from it. Again, an important thing to understand as a coder, especially when you're playing around, you don't have to create complex uh, interfaces in order to deal with, with the scripts like this. Again, you, you can write the names or whatever else directly into a text file and then be able to read from the text file. Again, it's just a simple .txt file. There's nothing special to it. So if you're going to be adding names or something else, you can just sit there and you can type in your 20 or 30 names and then have this script deal with it however you want it to deal with it. So that's really uh, all there is to the file function for turning a file into an array in PHP. And that's why it matters.